Um, we just got to 25,000 new and upgrading members at Max Fun um, earlier tonight. And um, I'm in my car. It, here, I'll turn on a light for you. It is like midnight or something. I don't know. It's very late. Um, and uh, um, I just wanted to express my gratitude for everybody who supports Max Fun. Um, I wasn't asked to. Or anything I just really I just really want to say that um, I was thinking as I was driving tonight about um, why Max Fun just sort of naturally built this community of, of really pleasant and funny and smart and kind people I don't know exactly how that happens I'm really glad it did um, I think it's very easy to, um, there's something called the underdog bias. Um, and it means that basically our, our, we're hardwired to look for who is, um, who might be the underdog of a story, right? Um, that's a good, that's a good and kind impulse. Um, but it can also lead our brains astray. And one of the things that I really love about Max Fun is that um, even though we are little and ragtag and um, are all making this like very independent art and journalism, um, that we also get to be successful at what we do. And um, I think our listeners and supporters have like figured out that you can still support good stuff <laughs> even um, even when it's doing okay. I, I guess I'm sort of, I come from a nonprofit world where there's a lot of um, sort of triage that happens where you just look for what's, what's the thing that's hurting the worst and put all your effort in, into that. And that's good, like I say, that comes from a very kind place. But um, I think if uh, the last couple of years has taught me anything, it's that um, good stuff that is succeeding still needs defending and saving. And um, I think Max Fun's doing really well, and um, I'm so thankful that it is, but that's because of ongoing support and because people have um, really figured out that you have to keep pouring love into the things that you believe are good or they can go away. And um, I'm not saying we make a bunch of the, you know, perfect world's best art all the time. Um, sometimes I drink my own pee. Uh, but um, I can tell you this, at least of my own show. Um, uh I didn't, I didn't run any of what I'm saying by my co-host Ross, who's uh, at least as well-spoken as I am, but I think you'd agree with this. Um, there are two things that run our project. It is uh, like legitimately believing in the truth, even when the truth is not uh, convenient, and even when it um, supports your enemy or a person you're not entirely fond of still caring about what the truth is. That's probably priority one. And I think priority two is um, being flexible and hopefully loving and careful around the human condition. Uh, I'm not saying I'm always great or perfect at that or that my co-host is either, but um, anyway, I think that those values are shared pretty deeply by the network and by the people who support it. And maybe I haven't gotten a lot of sleep, you guys. Maybe it's been a whole week of me doing way too many comedy shows. But um, I watched uh, Jesse sing a Harold Hill song tonight and a bunch of fans um, clap and sing along to this very stupid bit 
and I thought about how many stupid bits I've done that people have clapped and sung along to. Um, it's really an honor. So, um, I know that was a lot of thoughts. It's midnight. You'll have to forgive me, but I love you all. And, um, uh, thank you.